Here's a board judgment bullet storm. Uh, where they make it? I think we was the lead designer of bullet storm. Keep them alive. Is that name of the game? That's the company. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, the name of the game? Right. They made a game called Square Enix. Not actually. Is this the uh, the PVE thing that we saw before? The 3V the bomb or whatever? No. I don't, I don't think, think so. Oh, it looks like Ruby Rose. Wow! So what is this? I don't know. Outriders. Huh. Alright. We've got bikes. Summer 2020. I don't know what it is, but cool. All right. PS4, Xbox One, PC. And they've only made those two games, I think, and they're both good. Eric, what'd you think of uh, Outriders? Do they have uh, another sh a possible shooter or anything. There's a big giant monster and stuff like that. Like we didn't get a ton of information. We yeah. got a little bit about it, but yeah. Uh, I mean, nothing that really stood out to me where I was like, oh, this looks like something that's going to be super interesting for me. I mean, I'm, I'm generally, it's not the kind of game I would probably go for. Mm -hmm. uh, main character look like the woman that they showed the same shot four times of with that Ruby Rose. Yeah, playing Batwoman. Um, but other than that, I mean, there's really nothing there that I was like. Uh, no major Jumping draw on. for you or no. anything like that. No. Yeah, they, they did Bulletstorm, which I loved, and just was great, and then and sold terribly. Yeah. And they did Gears of War Judgment, which was a prequel, mm -hmm. which I didn't play. And sold but, terribly. No, it, it sold okay. Oh, okay. But it was good. It was really good. Like okay. it had like the characters were younger, stuff like that. But the things that I love about Gears of War, like from my understanding, they weren't all in it. You know what I mean? Uh, so I don't know. I, I know that I know they made these great games. So if this is a passion project, and now they have all the means to do it, then I'm interested. Well, yeah. yeah. It's come out summer 2020. The things that seem interesting is it's, it looks like it's a third-person shooter from, like, little snippets of, like, seeing what was on their screens when they were yeah. going through this quick stuff. Yeah. Um, but they also mentioned it's a one- to three-player drop-in, drop-out. Yep. Which kind of yeah. reminds me of, like, like Diablo mm -hmm. was like that, where you sure. kind of, like, play through with friends, invite them. They could drop in, play with you, go through dungeons, drop out. Mm -hmm. And it just scales up and down the difficulty based on how many people you have. Yeah. So that seems interesting in a shooter yeah. aspect. I don't think I've ever had a co-op shooter game like that. Borderlands? Like no, a, yeah, you're right. Borderlands like a, is like that, where like it scales it up whenever you stuff. do it. So, yeah. I guess that's the only one I've... Yeah. So I know... That's um, probably the only one I think of then. Division also does that, where you can, like, hop into... You know, in other players' instances, and it, like it, it ranks you up. If, you, if it does that, it stuff. has to have some kind of RPG element to it, then, right? Because Borderlands definitely has an RPG kind of element to it, and then Division also has like that weapon scaling RPG leveling system yeah. that they have yeah. too. Yeah, a loot system. So, um, maybe they'll have something along those lines with the way that it plays. Maybe. Into, maybe so. Or maybe they don't have like any kind of like well, damage scaling or I don't know how or anything like that. How it works, but de does Destiny do that as well? Um, it might. It, I mean, that yeah. one's kind of like a MMO. Yeah, it's kind you know? of. It's a little bit of a different beast, I guess. Yeah. So I don't. This one didn't feel like it was, didn't sound like it was supposed to be like an MMO, but I mean, you can also be running around the world and just see other guys in Destiny. So it's yeah. a little different. All right, guys, make sure you stay tuned. All the E3 <laughs> conference and everything that we're going to be covering. Uh, lots of videos coming up as soon as we can get them up. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.